That's cool. Sweet. That's cool. I like it. I like that. How are you going, guys? I love this. These tats. It's amazing. Give us a look. Oh, it's not. It's not real. It's not real. No, Craig draws it on for me every day. <laughs> Each day. Yeah, every day. Takes a few hours, every yeah. single day. Yep. Mm. We wake up at uh, three o'clock in the morning and get started, and then go back to sleep. And by the time I wake up, about three o'clock in the afternoon, good to go. Excellent. There's a lot of preparation, more, more than I prepared for this interview, I'll tell you what. Uh, you guys have matching tattoos though, I hear. Yeah, we do, we do, but unfortunately we can't show them at the moment because pants, knee, a little bit hard. Yeah. And Other on your knee. They're on yeah, our knee. and the pants are quite tight. It's funny though because we, uh, we got the tattoos, Craig had to go to work, so he got his done first and then I got mine done and then after that we didn't talk for seven months. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's awkward. Why? Right, so that was your, that was your ongoing bond. Yeah, yeah pretty much. It's kind of like, yeah, we got a tattoo, so we don't need to talk to each other anymore. <laughs> but you have spent a fair amount of time together. I mean, how long was the drive from Adelaide? <sighs> <laughs> Too long. Uh, what, eight and a half? Oh, eight and a half. It, it, it started at the first one was like ten hours. The first time we come because we've been here three times in last two month months and a half. Right. Or so. Yeah. So the first one was ten, and then quickly we realised that stopping is just not happening. No. And also that our speedo was kind of out by about ten k's. Yeah, that helped too. <laughs> so we were going ninety most of the way. So now we're going one hundred and fifty, <laughs> and making up for lost time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and you know, you start in Adelaide, drive for ten hours, and you end up in Brunswick. What are your thoughts? I don't know. The tram lines scare me a little bit oh. while you're driving on the roads. The tram lines are pretty tense. scary. Now, it, this may shock you, but their sense of humour is a little bit out there. Check out their YouTube channel, Refuge from Reno. I have. They have thousands of followers, and it's easy to see why. Some of my favourites are the song about how not to get laid. There's a song about uh, stealing people's kidneys, but I have to ask. <laughs> I have to be serious. I have to be serious for a moment because there's a question that everyone here has been dying to ask. It's on their mind since you came into the room. What do kittens taste like? Oh, he didn't lick well, it. I didn't actually he really didn't lick it. He you didn't lick, lick it. I, I no. wasn't too keen on licking an animal. But Why not? <laughs> Verbal? I didn't want to be coughing up about hairballs. They're, they're, they're actually really non-furry. And at, at the time, they were kind of bold, really. Um, right. So, I don't know. It, it tastes like and it tastes like kitten. Yeah. Well, yeah. I wouldn't know. Ex it's not nice. No, I, it's I not guess not. It's a good thing, but it's not necessarily a bad The Lick one. A Kitten song is also on the, on the uh, website, on the YouTube channel, Refuge from Reno. We're going to cut to a clip of the How Not to Get Laid song in just a moment, but please give it, go absolutely nuts for Refuge from Reno, Craig and Tyson. <laughs> The rules for getting laid Unless it's with a chick that had to be paid No one must have a song Times works for me You better off slipping her some ecstasy In her drink In her drink In her drink Bro hip no Bro hip no No. 